Aquarius, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for clicking on the video. Your support really means a lot to me. We are going to tap into your next 72 hours. See what messages spirit has for you. You can have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus. Cross watchers are welcome here. Make sure you like the video. Drop a comment below if it resonates. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so we can be notified. You can be notified when I upload another video. We are on the road to 5,000. We are on the road to 5,000. Let's get there. For my Aqua Babies, we do have a reading special, Love in General, one-on-one -on, -one on video with me. That would be $99 right now. Make sure you check in. Get your readings done. All right. Everything that you need to know is in the description box below. My contact number is there. That ends in 3434. Please do not message me past 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I shouldn't have to say that, but I do. So you have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. The Three of Pentacles, the world. Eight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Love it. Six of Pentacles in reverse, mm. Hierophant tried to jump out, it didn't. Virgo's energy. Capricorn's energy is here. Gemini's energy is here. Taurus energy is here. Libra's energy is here. So I'm looking at the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Swords. the eight of cups in reverse and the high priestess here okay three four four major arcanas now you have the king of pentacles in reverse the two of swords the four of wands strength in reverse ten of wands in reverse good stuff queen of cups Eight of Wands, Page of Wands, Page of Swords, Tower in Reverse, Knight of Cups, Fool. Okay. Somebody here is having financial issues where money could, you, you could be used to money coming to you a certain way. Or getting a certain type of money, getting a certain amount of money a week. And right now, it's just not working. There could be some type of partnership that's ending. There could be someone that is, you have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here. There could be someone that is trying to like um attack your finances here some of you guys are going into a connection where you were doing everything on your own money was plentiful um you know you were you were independent you were making things happen so like you're leaving uh, uh from being self-employed to work in a job 
or you, you're working a job and you're realizing that you cannot have the independence that you need financially by working this job, there's a cycle ending. Some of you guys are being pushed to take the next step. You could be overly in your head about it. You could be praying a lot about it. Should I do this? Should I not? What should I do? How should I go about this? You're very closed off. If you know that you're not going from being self-employed or you're looking to be self-employed and your job isn't working, then apply it to how, how, how you need to to your life. But it's like some of you guys could be looking for a job now, trying to find some type of stability. Maybe you're in partnership with someone and you no longer trust this. But you got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse next to the Lovers, next to the Six of Pentacles in reverse, Justice in reverse. So let's do this. Let's say this. If you are in some type of partnership with someone or you work with someone and somebody that they are dealing with work in the same place, apply it to your life. There's someone on the outside that's jealous of the bond, the connection, or what you got going on with this person. And this person is trying to slow down your finances. With the lovers here, this is this is like somebody that they're dealing with. Like they may feel like your person like you. This person may like you, but they may have not stepped out to say it. But they don't want this person like helping you anymore. So there could be a change in in work, or they don't want this person coming to you. If you were dealing with this person in the past, it's like. They they mad because you're no longer dealing with them, so they're they're like really trying to go after your finances. People, it, it's it's crazy that people are this sick, that they hate this much. They don't want this person assisting you. There's someone that does not want their person assisting you, or what they could perceive to be their person, but the justice is in reverse. They're not going to be successful. This person is not walking away. You have the high priestess here. You could be very intuitive, meaning divine, like you're doing the spiritual work, like you live the life. Not, not you say, oh, you know, the, 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 the high priestess is someone that, that does what I do. You could have gotten a reading and you were told to, hang in there to not walk away either you or this person is in high priestess energy like their plan is going to be failed because you have the justice you have the eight of cups in reverse and you have the high priestess so it's like somebody is 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 working overtime to make things happen on the back end but you are protected here it's the craziest thing that like <clears throat> they could be going like their person could be talking about you about getting a pay raise or this person is doing business with you and they're like, well, you know, just, you know, they, 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 they jading you, you know, when it comes to the business, like redirecting this person in another way on purpose. Whoever this individual is or whatever this is, like they're going to recognize it. Because they're not going to do away with it. Like right now, money could be really, really tight. And you could be really in your head like, what am I going to do? I got bills to pay. I got rent to pay. How am I going to make this work? But your strength is in reverse. So it's like you're you're living in fear. Yes, we need money to make things happen. We need money to make things work. But you have to trust and have faith that it's all going to work out. Like you may see it because on your side, you're like, wait a minute. You know, I'm not making the same amount of money or my money has slowed up or my money is funny or 
you know, why, why is this happening? Why is that happening? But you have to have faith to continue to push through. Some of you guys could be dealing with a uh, Taurus. And they have big decisions to make when it comes to you. But the burden and the worry here is over. Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups is here. So, some of you guys could be um moving with someone, you know, um a couple weeks back or a month or so back. I think I did a reading for you guys saying like you're elevating and someone here it's like someone has this person in this moving situation they have obligations and they're worried about the obligations queen of cups that's a mother they don't want them to have to carry on a lot of burdens and things like that there's communication coming in someone is calling to give you good news that you you something that you've been asking about or something that you've been wanting to know you're going to get good news coming in here whenever you see this reading is when you meant to see it but there's going to be some type of good news that you're getting it could be like hey you know uh, uh, uh this happened or i got this deal or whatever the case may be Someone like like you're working very hard, or your person is working very hard to um, not have a tower moment, to not have some type of ending. Here you go, Aquarius. There's an offer of love coming into you. If you were dealing with this person, this person could be a water sign, but doesn't have to be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but there's an age difference between you and this individual, or maturity level difference. But this energy of love is offers coming into you. So you could have wondered why something wasn't working out. And you're like, oh, just add it on to the rest of the stuff that's going crazy in my life. But it, it's, it's like the universe was conspiring to work in your favor. So the situation with your money is going to work itself out. Then there's an offer of love coming in for some of you guys. Like, like it, it, it's here. But it's the tower in reverse. So I feel like this is a repeat situation. This isn't someone new. Someone else is coming in with an offer of love. And you're going for it. The fool card is here. That's your energy. You're going for it. A new beginning. Could be an Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's going to be some, some new beginning here. There's a conversation that's going to be had. There's some clarity, you know, that's going to be given. I feel like you're going to think about it or your person is thinking about it. And it's like, you know what? Why not? Yeah. Ten of cups. So. I'm hearing. Okay. You could have, you could have been sitting back like saying, when is it going to be my time? Or when is things happening for me? It's happening here. You're no longer repeating these cycles. You're no longer having to pull your energy back. You have a true soulmate here. And you're taking action on this. This is this is a gift from God here. I feel like whoever this person is that's coming back, they've cleared their energy, they've cleared their they they they've cleared their bad ways. They broken ties that they needed to break and they truly want to come in and offer an apology and get on the same page. It's like this person is waiting on the right time. This person is truly coming in to mend something with you. It could have been the outside interference. So what is happening is that um, there has been someone in this particular collective energy that has been doing, has been the victim not the victim, because we don't like that word. They've been under spiritual attack for over a year now from someone on the outside that's miserable. You could have even moved away from this person, not even worried about this person. 
and this person has just been constantly trying to attack you, feeling miserable um, about whatever the case may be, right? Well, this Pluto and Aquarius energy is helping clear all of these things out. Yeah. See, no one really knew the, the actual effects of Pluto and Aquarius. They could only, like, look at the other signs and guesstimate. But, man, when I tell you this Pluto and Aquarius is doing numbers, baby, it's making its rounds. So it's like, it's, it's, it's almost like you have endured enough. And Spirit is saying, no more. This is over. No, no, no more. You, 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 this is not, whatever you're saying is not, is not working. It's automatically going back. To this person, justice in reverse. <laughs> and they was on two different sides. But I'm telling you, Queen of Pentacles and Justice in Reverse, it's no longer working against you. Whatever they're trying to do, it's no longer working against you. They're somebody that wants to reach out and communicate with you. Game over for these fools. <laughs> As it should be, you know? It's kind of like, all right, enough is enough. What? Like, come on. Mom. Let me see. All right, so let's see what's happening for you guys in love. Let's see if we can get some confirmations. Yeah, it's um, it's like whatever, whatever they've been trying to do. Push my door, please. Whatever they've been trying to do. It's no longer working. Not close it. Don't worry about it. Leave it there. Let's see. The kids just came home from school. See, I'm working on y'all early. Creating this new, <laughs> creating this new routine. Um, I got engaged. We'll be very, we'll be married. Um by the end of the week um that's that's how you move inside us there's been a lot going on so i've been <laughs> trying to come up with a whole new routine um to be able to get everything done and not affect you know his time and the family time and so on and so forth and i'm getting there i'm getting there <laughs> I'm good now. Um, I did not create like a wedding registry or anything like that. But if you guys wanted to send something in the description box below is my address. Um, you can send gift cards. Um, Amazon, Walmart, or Home Depot gift cards would be great. Um, also, you can support by booking readings, or you know, you can send donations via the Cash App or the Zelle. That information is down below if you uh, wanted to support. But yeah, it's just me realigning life. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's different because I just created, like, not just, but I've been on this schedule here for a, a, um, a while, for a few months. Almost, uh, what? five going on six months I've been on this schedule and it it worked for me and so now I'm revamping my whole you know think my whole life to like make everything make sense right because you don't want to serve dinner too late you got to cook dinner every night you know and not to say that nobody in here miss meals but you know I would be able to finagle it and okay let's go out now let's go out to eat we can't do all of that, you know, not going and spending this money on, you know, being married and all of this stuff. So it's really like putting everything together, realigning, and then I have my ministry. Um, and that's why I just stopped offering so much to the public, but they're open. As I said, I'm looking for one more person. Um, I'm not just accepting people in, um, yeah, we gotta, we, we, we gotta, communicate um because everybody that's in is serious so I, I don't need to add any uh, weak links to what i'm doing but if you 
are looking to take control of your spiritual journey um, and you are interested in Ifa, if you're being called for Ifa, please hit me up. You know, take this journey uh, with us and um, I'll be more than happy to do this uh, with you, to be there with you, okay? So you got free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life, okay? I feel like romantically you've been so embodied in making things happen. Again, in this independence, um, what what it is that you want for you, it's time to just woosah. It's things that have to happen in order for you to get what you want. And especially for the divine feminine, for the women, um, you know, we, we have to, we have to relearn <laughs> all of this garbage they got online and, oh, your first date should be here. And if it ain't, I don't want it and cut a check and, you know, disrespecting the man and. You know, and the only people that that is truly, truly picking up on this is, is our people. And that's not how it goes when you truly want something to work, right? And just as well as they're spruing it to the divine feminine, they're also spruing it to the masculine. And we really have to unlearn to relearn. We got to go within. And I know that I, 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 I'm I not trying to save the world, but I am working with the ones that um, God sends me, you know, to help them out. And I originally started, um, this ministry saying if I could help one and then that, you know, that imploded, you know, it was blah, 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 you know? So we have to know what it is that we need to do. Um, and we have to be very protective of our energy, what we listen to, what we watch, right? Our eyes are, are, are like ears. You know, it's taking that stuff in. And we got to be better versions of ourselves to get this, this, this happy ending that we deserve. And, and if you're not working on being a better version of yourself, then you're going to continue to repeat cycles, right? Um, I say to you guys, you either are a victim or you're a survivor. And I don't, I don't coach victims. But I do coach survivors. Um, things happen in life. They're not meant to break you. They're, they're, they're meant to teach you. And you sit with it. You grow from it. And you move on. We're all here to get closer to love. God is love. And it's okay to um, speak your story. But it's not okay to hold on to. It's like if I could just help, if I could just help people, and you just telling a traumatic story over and over and over and over and over and over again, you still you relive it every time you tell it, and that becomes you. So it's time to now let it go. If you can help people, start talking about what happened afterwards. You know, yeah, I went through something, but this was the outcome. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, stop. Stop reliving and rehashing and holding on to energy. That was y'all last week. That was y'all Sunday soul reading. Let it go. You want the healing. You want the growth. You want this. You want that. You are in control of your own destiny. Love yourself first. <laughs> your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Right? And that's a that's that that's a hard pill because as the women now they 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 are they're such nurturers that like you know we were nurturers before, but even the women that that overly cater to their sons, they take that energy and they overly cater to their their husbands and their boyfriends, and you're giving husband energy to a boyfriend, you know, so when men speak and say I'm not giving wifey wifey privileges to a girlfriend and women be like well how you i get it i get it what you what you need to realize in return is that you got to stop giving wifey energy to a boyfriend now what does that mean is the question <laughs> what does that mean is the question that's what you got to figure out 
Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Live through the passion. Allow it to be. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Now, here you go. Somebody coming back into your life, trying to undo a tower moment, but you in your feelings, you feel the way, it didn't go the way you wanted to when you wanted to go, and now, you know, <laughs> no, I, I don't want it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want it. Nah, uh -uh. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, you got, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. People can change. See, here's the thing. And, and, and I'll give you this. And I'm going I'm to keep moving. It's not the issue of taking somebody back. The issue is taking somebody back and they are clearly showing you that there is no change behavior. You take them back and they change for a couple weeks and then they go right back to that same person. You got to let go. As soon as they flip, you flip. That's called self-control. That's called self-respect. See, you can go through something with somebody and they not realize who you are in their life. And so they may fumble you. But when you sit in a level of ignorance, in a level of ego, you will say, well, you fumbled me the first time. So therefore you're not getting another chance. And that could be your person. You want another chance at life when you mess up. And when I say ignorance and ego and Ifar teaches us that one, we should not be treacherous. And two, we should not have an ego. We're all spiritual beings having a human experience. So sometimes you, you have, you got to sit back and say, okay, well, you know what? Let me weigh the options. The good versus the bad. Take your emotions out of it. Take the control issues out of it. Cause you are an Aquarius. We are Aquarius. So we know that we can control some stuff. Okay. <laughs> but take that energy out of it and allow this person to show you their growth. Like, you know, allow them to show you their growth. And when you allow these things to happen and unfold for you, then you will start to see like, oh, okay, this person really serious. But how would you know that if you are controlling the narrative? No, this is what you did. Mm -mm, this is, this is how this ended. You know, unless this person beat you, you know, or, 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 or slept with one of your relatives or something like, no, like, you know, you're an Aquarius. We got to work on that. We got to work on giving people room. You know what I'm saying? No, I'll pass. You don't have to tell me that in the comments. I'm just not talking to you. I'm talking to the ones that are looking to heal and the healed Aquarius. That's who I'm talking to. Some of this stuff not going not gonna to work. Some of y'all are very new to me. A lot of y'all came over from my other page. So you know how I read. I read to teach. I read to be, I read to, to be able to, to, to help you understand where we mess up at. And how we get out of it. <laughs> Ooh. Attachment, the number five, and creation. You may have a child with this person. Soul tie. Attachment, creation. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys have a child with this person that you need to let go of. Let go of the hurt. Let go of the pain. I'm not saying that this is the person that you're going to end up being with. But in order to move on, you got to heal yourself. Yeah, that's not. You, it's not your destiny. It's not a part of your destiny to be with this person. But you could be blocking what's for you if you haven't healed. I can sit and go on and on and on about the work that I had to do with myself. I could go on and on and on about the work that I had to do with myself. And... It's not an easy task because some people, <clears throat> you don't, you don't know what work you have to do. You just sit still and in sitting still, it was rest and rejuvenation. 
But sometimes there's things that you have to do, and that's why they have people out there to help guide you. It's just allowing your ori, right, your head to guide you to where you are supposed to be. So if my words make you feel the way, it gives you butterflies, it makes your skin crawl, it's like, ah, I know, reach out to me. I'm willing to work with you. I'm ready to work with you. I'm ready. This is my mission here, you know, on this earth at this point is to help others. So spiritually, so, so reach out to me. But when you doing it on your own and you like, man, I sat down and I'm not getting any results and this is that and the other. We all have to do the work, but sometimes we don't even know the work that we got to do. <laughs> we like... I know I got to do some work, but, uh, you know, <laughs> letting go of past and closing those doors is hard. The One of the hardest things. It's almost like walking in your house and you got a hallway in your house. And in this hallway, there's four doors, you know, down this one particular hallway. And it's hot as hell outside, right? Um, It could be cold. It could be hot, whatever. But we're going to say it's hot outside. Uh, it's the summer day. And so we know that you have to, in order for your AC to fully flush and do what needs to do, you need to close every single door so your AC can flourish throughout your house for every vent can, 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 can do what it needs to do. And you go down that hallway and you just keep leaving the doors on, leaving the doors open. And you wonder like, man, my AC ain't bumping like it need to bump. Because you haven't closed the doors. You know what I'm saying? You have to close out the cycles. You have to be sure that you want these cycles closed. You have to give yourself time. Not just because somebody isn't talking to you anymore. <laughs> oh, they ain't call me, so that's done. And then they call you, and then bloop, you back, you back to communicating. You back to talk. Oh, they didn't hit me back up. No, you have to close those doors. You have to say, you know what, this is a wrap. I'm done, and you have to mean it, cause you going you gonna, you gonna be tested. Mm -hmm. You gonna be tested. You have to mean what you say. You have to say these doors are closed, and 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 I'm not going back. And when you stand on what you mean, you showing the universe, see, cause you you know you can lie to yourself. You know I'm done, and that's it. You know I'm you you didn't try me for the last time. You don't know how many times I hear this stuff in these readings. You didn't tie me for the last time I'm done. And then I say, well, okay, well, I'm going to give you the good and the bad. Anyways, if you go back, this is how this is going to work out. Um, if you don't and you stand on it, you know, this is what you can look forward to if you allow yourself to do it. And then they say, three months later, I need to book another reading. I feel so bad because you was absolutely right. Oh, you know. So you got to go through those tests. To make sure that you are completely unattached from things. People, we, we were taught to perceive family and people that we have children from in a way that keeps us completely attached to them for forever. You got some people that it works for and then you sit back and look at those relationships and you're like, man, they done put... They done went through all of that and they still together. Mm -mm, I would never, I would never. That's not your journey. That's not your destiny, right? But just because you have a child with someone does not mean that that is somebody that you're supposed to be with for the rest of your life. I'm going to stand on that. That is somebody, that is your family. Now, you have to be able to co-parent amicably. But that is not someone that is that necessarily destined for you to be with. It means that you needed to create life with that lineage, right? The girls come from the mother's lineage. The boys come from the father's lineage. These are lineages. These are, these are uh, people that have to come here to fulfill something and break a chain within that lineage, right? And so the people in that particular lineage are not aligned to do the work to break those chains. So you are aligned with this person because your Ashe can mix with this person's Ashe, can, can, can give this lineage what they need to help break these generational curses. We here to help each other. And it starts with that. When, when, when I hear these kids say, well, we didn't ask to be here. Well, I'm trying to figure out how does that work? Because if you got millions of sperms, 
And only one little sperm out of all those millions can reach that egg. You definitely fought to be here. You just don't know it. Okay. So there's an attachment with someone that you have children from. And you need to align your root chakra. Okay. Archangel Michael is here. Okay. Number thir uh, 35 or the number 8. Number 5 is here as well. The number 19, uh, the number 10, or the number 1 is here. Um, so you need to align, right? Um, yes, there's no passion. But just because there's no passion, you don't have to be enemies. And just because somebody doesn't want to be friends with you, that's perfectly fine as well. Um, um, yes, there's no passion. Um, but the passion that you lack for this person is also something that you can take to another connection. And no one deserves to suffer for what someone else did to you. So you want to heal that pain. You can't make someone be cool with you. You know, you can you can put it out there. They don't want it. Great. Let it go. Right? Um, it's not a you problem at that point. Sometimes, you know, people are like, well, I didn't do anything to them. And I'm just trying to be their friend. That's, that's, that's equivalent to, you know... <laughs> You being mad because somebody don't want to be your friend. That's that's childlike behavior. And and when I hear that, that lets me know that you haven't grown. Because we never crying by somebody that don't want to be our friend. It's a reason that they're being blocked. You got to think your spirit guides are also around you, protecting you. It's a reason that this being blocked. You have abundance. You have soulmate. You have rest and rejuvenation here as well. Okay? So when you go through this healing process... And close this door completely. There are things that are that are coming. Some of you guys have already done this. And so you're wondering what's next. That very well may apply to you. Let me see. I told y'all I'm going to try to see if I can get y'all around this time of day. I can really work on giving y'all longer readings. Okay. Something to think about. I was just telling, um... I was telling Crash, I said, I remember, man, listen, I was doing like 10 to 15 readings every few days. And then there's so many readers that came about and, and, and so many, so many, so many, um, so many people that, that read, you got people that read tarot and you have tarot readers. Okay. And you got so many people that came and saturated this thing and then people still end up coming back later and you know they, they numbers i don't talk about anybody numbers my numbers are my numbers i know what i bring to the table i'm not in competition with anybody just as well as people aren't in competition with me um but numbers are numbers and it's like by the time i get to these people you know and hear these stories i just be like wow and it's like oh well it was it was only this amount for the reading or it was only this it was only that you know um so, you know, I, I said, you know, I can't wait till, you know, that. Because I have, I have a deep passion for personal readings. I have a deep passion for helping and assisting and guiding, you know. I'm like, come on, baby. Give me them 20. Give me them 10, 20 readings. Give me 20 readings in a week. What's at the bottom of the deck? Lessons from Pluto. Pluto rules Scorpio, but Pluto is in Aquarius. Patterns of control. Let go of control issues. Power, manipulation, and intense push and pull attraction. Intimacy is not possessive. Intimacy is into me, you see. How can you make that possessive? How can you strong arm or control somebody being into you i don't know y'all y'all making new rules out here so i don't know i have to ask questions that's your first lesson and another lesson for mars mars is the planet of passion remember your passion was in reverse Purely physical, sexual attraction. Fire and passions run fast and burn fast without other elements. 
The only thing that's there is um SCX. That's it. It is it's, it's nothing else and you're you're hooked on that and you can't go beyond that. Y'all got to be mindful of these soul ties, man, that y'all create. I keep telling y'all. So, you have to, um, don't shut that. Don't. You have to be mindful of, um, letting go and not being attached. It's just an attachment based on what y'all, how a person make you feel. But. If you tap deeper into it, they make you feel good at a specific time. And then outside of that, you're not feeling good. Deception. Someone is not being honest or is withholding information. Renew an adventure. A return of passion and play. Community is healing. Laughter, travel, and new things can re-spark your love life. You're healing. You're letting go. All of these things, all of the issues you've been having, the money issues, the money being slow, people trying to attack you based on somebody that you don't care about, people trying to slow up your money, people being jealous, people being envious, all of those things are non-existent at this time. You've paid your dues. You've done what you had to do. Betrayal. Trust this part of your journey, understanding that through pain, this is teaching you and others how to love more deeply in a, in a higher divine space. Un understanding that we are not victims, we are survivors. Thought patterns, get out of your head and into your heart. This is the truth. Some of y'all like, mm -mm, they did me wrong. I ain't going back. Da, 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 da. Some of y'all, this is this for some of you guys, this is somebody from your past that's coming back, but they've truly learned their lesson and they're truly growing. For others of you guys, this is something that, from your past that you have to heal in order to move forward. So they could be coming back, but you have to give them the healed version of yourself. There's no animosity. There's no beef. There's no I hate you. There's no nothing. I accept your apology. I accept your apology and I'm ready to rock and roll. Get it. All right. So that's your next 72 hours. Whenever you see this reading is when you're meant to see it. This video is also attached to playlists. So check out the other playlist that this one is attached to. Check out the other videos in this playlist that this is attached to. We're on the road to 5,000 5, uh, subscribers. So make sure you share this video on social media. And contact me if you need my assistance. I shame.